no, 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 no. Let's start that. Scratch that question. He definitely didn't. Ha how that. impressed were you by this performance in general? Well, originally I was just like, oh, that's just another night at the office for LeBron. I mean, 40 points. But then you forget he's in year 21. He's 39 years old, and it's this late in the season. And so you have to just continue to just uh, appreciate his greatness uh, at this stage of his career. I mean, Brooklyn, I mean, you're playing a team that's looking to go on vacation in yep. two weeks. I get it. But you still got to be able to put the ball in the basket. And this has been impressive, Skip, and I'll tell you why. Because this is the Lakers' best stretch, I believe, of the season, going at the right time, going into the playoffs. And for me to look up and see LeBron since the All-Star break, he's playing more minutes, averaging more points. Before All-Star, 25, now 27. Assists have gone up, rebounds have gone up. But the most impressive thing is his shooting percentage. 57 from field, 48 from three. This is all after All-Star. 48. 48 from three. This is all after All-Star break. And for the year, he's shooting a career high from three. He is. And so we just got to continue to appreciate his greatness. Hopefully, he can carry this over into the playoffs. Hopefully, I don't want to see him at the eighth or ninth seed. Hopefully, they can get to the seventh seed because if they get Denver, I don't see them making it out of the uh, the play out of the playoffs yeah. in the first round. Yeah. Uh, supposedly, they they win the play-in game, and so. But this is nothing short of, of impressive, and uh, you just got to marvel at his greatness as he continues to to push the bar. You know, so I appreciate it. But uh, I think, you know, with LeBron, the bars stands on how many championships he can win. So yep. we have yet to see that. Yeah, it's extremely impressive. You know, Paul talked about all the statistics and all the different things that he's been able to accomplish and since the All-Star break. But you think about it, Skip. There's only two guys in the history of the NBA, 39-plus years old, to be able to do what he did last night. One is Michael Jordan and LeBron James. Yeah, but it, Michael wasn't even in the same. I was gonna, I was gonna say with this. I was gonna say that yeah. that forty-year-old, thirty-nine-year-old yeah. Michael Jordan. That was just like I don't know what it was. This LeBron looks like he played another five years, six years, and doing the same thing. Agreed. So when you start to look at that, you like things are getting better as you get older. Yeah. That that's crazy to me. Yeah. Like, the, you, to your point, Michael at thirty-nine or over had three forty-plus point games. Yeah. And now LeBron has two. But it was almost two. like those forty-point-plus games was like. We're watching you because you Michael Jordan, so we're going to let you go to the cup. He wasn't hitting nine or ten threes. No. And doing step backs in the corner and, he, he, he and, was and not. knocking them down. I That's give not, you I'm that. not taking anything away from Michael. No. I'm just saying at 39 years you're, old, it's impressive. You are correct. I mean, you talk about the fourth quarter, 17 points and alone in the fourth quarter. Now, now you, you discount a little bit, maybe, because it's a death. But like Paul said, you still got to put it in the bucket. You yeah. still got to You still got to put it in. The Dallas Cowboys been hanging around the rim for a while, right? Ain't that what the owner said? That's what we he, haven't he put said it in it several yet. times. <laughs> yep. So yep. you talk about the fourth quarter, 17 points, five or six from the field, four for four from three. Like that, that if he can continue this and do the things that he's been doing, the Lakers can wind up in a really sweet spot come playoff time. Yep. You know, and, and look, everybody, they took everybody to play 30 plus minutes for them to beat. The Nets, when they had a commanding lead, and all of a sudden they kind of shrunk a little a bit. A little bit, yeah. And then they got back in it, and then they took care of business and finished them off. I like it. I mean, they can finish 5-1 and one on this tour. Um, you know, they got Toronto and, and Washington. I think if they take care of them, then you come home to Cleveland, you set yourself up for and be in perfect position come playoff time. I'm, yep. I'm all in, Skip. Okay. I, I was not all in on Friday night, but that's just one of those games. You call it a schedule type loss yeah, where it's, Indy, it's three out of four nights. Yeah. And yet we all thought on Friday they could take care of business at Indiana because they're a little better, but they didn't come out better. They came out flat and lifeless and it was like next and it mm -hmm. didn't go anywhere. All right. So who can't be impressed with what LeBron did last night? <sighs> And yet, what got me about it was, no, listen, when he gets hot, he gets crazy hot. And we have seen it before. You have seen it up close seen and personal it up close before. And because he can get cold, but he can get crazy, crazy hot. And this might have been as hot as I have ever seen him. I know he's mm -hmm. had some three-point stretches against the Clippers, then back in the day, going clear back to his first year in Miami against Charlotte. But what, what he did last night, I, 
it looked like you could see it coming. If, if we have this, I'm watching, of course, carefully this game, and late in the third quarter, this is LeBron bringing the ball up the floor. I've never seen him do this before, but he's, this is against Brooklyn. He's bringing the ball up the floor, and he starts kind of high stepping. He's he's like high stepping. I'm thinking, oh, that's a rhythm. That's a yeah, rhythm. That's a rhythm. Step. Yeah, no, no, that's but, a rhythm. But, step, he, but he's he's like almost Dion high stepping a little mm -hmm. bit. I've not seen him do well, that before. Because if that defender, correct me if I'm wrong, Paul, if that defender starts to go to his to his right, LeBron's mm -hmm. gonna go right. back to his right, right? Right here, I'm looking like, oh, I'm just playing with you. I'm toying he's, with the He's nads. toying yeah, with he's you. Toying with he's the nads. toying with you. <laughs> okay. He's toying with the <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so punch it once or twice. <laughs> he's toying with him. Right okay. There. So my first thought was, LeBron, it's just the Nets. You know, yeah. save it for somebody who really matters. But the point was, he was feeling really good yeah. last night, and that predicted to me what was about to come. And then we hit the fourth quarter, and I think we have the whole tape of all the shots that he made in the fourth quarter. Let's just blow through it for anybody who might not have caught the game just to get a sense of how hot he was. That's about three feet beyond the line, and, and he didn't hesitate. And now he is really feeling good about himself. So he goes to the rack, and that's mm -hmm. easy. That's he could do that like, just yeah, like yeah. whenever he wanted to. And that's the shot of the night, that fade away in the shot. corner. Yeah. And that's the one that's just a uh, heat check true. where he says, well, ugh, you know. He should have probably done the Jordan shrug. You know, he gonna crowd himself. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so then he goes to the bench. He gets a standing ovation, which was something for the yeah. Nets fans. It was almost like Madison Square Garden, where yeah. they don't have their own. So when when yeah. somebody great comes to visit, they have to appreciate to sort of appreciate the greatness the of the visiting star, right? Because yeah. they don't have their own, and so they give him a big standing ovation. But then he goes to the bench and he crowns himself, and I'm like, "Come on, LeBron! It's Brooklyn that they are." I knew that would bother you. Twenty-nine and forty-six. <laughs> so Twenty-nine so, and forty-six. As soon as I saw him do that, I said, "Skip will have a real well, problem." Well, with that. well who right. shouldn't? I, I mean, seriously, did you ever see Michael Jordan crown himself? Did, did he ever crown <laughs> but himself? But he who needs to crown the, himself? Well, why, why, why don't you just let people crown you? You don't have to crown I, yourself. I get it, right? I mean, I get Come it. On. Yeah, you I mean, do. You know it. I'm right about this. I didn't say he was All wrong. Right. Okay, thank you. I didn't say he was wrong. I didn't say he was right either. So if Ben Simmons had been healthy this year, that's a matchup for LeBron because Ben Simmons is like 6'10", and he's long, and he's agile, and that would have been, you, you do that kind of work against Ben Simmons, you, you've got something to talk about, mm -hmm. but they don't have anybody who can guard him. So he went off. And Keyshawn, I yes. thought of you last night because my first thought was, man, I want to see this in the postseason. Yeah. I just do. I, I want to see it in fourth quarter. I want to see a fourth quarter like that against Denver because I had to sit through, I, I picked him to beat Denver last year. But he wasn't doing this, Skip, last year at this time of the season. He wasn't doing no. what he's been doing for the Lakers. He just wasn't. Okay, well. But he may be able to carry this into the postseason. Okay, well, I sure hope you're right, because I picked them to win it all. And what troubles me the most is LeBron just keeps on, keeps on, keeps on playing minutes, minutes, minutes. Yeah. So he played 37 more minutes last night. Would you believe that LeBron James is fourth in the NBA in minutes per game. Yeah. Fourth in the NBA at, at age 39 in year 21, down the stretch. We're, we're, what do we have, like nine games left? Nine games. And, and he's fourth in the league in minutes played? Yeah, yeah. That, that is what I call basketball suicide. You know, it's like, what are you doing? What, shouldn't so who's somebody... one? Hmm? Who's like one? I don't know. I, oh. didn't, I didn't look it up. You should have looked it up before the... I didn't even... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at yeah, this age, you shouldn't it. be playing these type. You know, it's disturbing when I look at this game, though, with the Nets, that the Lakers bench had two points. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not sure they're going to survive a playoff run if they can't get production out of the bench. If LeBron has to play well, that's 30... What I said, Paul. See, you, like, you're right. You're playing against the Brooklyn Nets. LeBron shouldn't have to play 38 minutes. Yeah. You know, like, when they played Memphis, he didn't play a lot. They got the job done early. Uh, clearly, Brooklyn is looking at vacation plans already. And so I feel like they should have came in, took care of business, guys off your bench should have gave him Something. some type of rest. Yeah, no, no question and, about and it. And so, like, that's the only concerning thing. And then you got Washington and Toronto coming up, who they're already on vacation anyway. But those are young legs. And you got to try to find minutes for these other guys. Like, LeBron should be resting these next two games. He shouldn't be playing... 38, 40 minutes. This is these are games where if you could keep him around a 28 minute mark. I agree. Especially this late in the season. 
and the other guys are doing their job. All right, but there were some minutes played last night by somebody on the bench that was a revelation because all of a sudden we had a Gabe Vincent sighting last night, and he played 14 minutes off the bench. On offense, he was completely out of whack because he hadn't played all year, but he tried hard on defense, and he got a little run, and he got his legs up under him a little bit. And that's huge for them because I wasn't sure he was going to come back at all. Yeah, concerning part, like Paul said, though, when you got your starters, all of them playing over 30 minutes, and then in some even in the mid to high 30s, that's a lot against a Brooklyn team. Mm -hmm. Now, Gabe Vincent coming back, surely from a defensive standpoint, you should be able to get yourself in a rhythm. We're not expecting him to score points. We're expecting yeah. him to defend. Yeah, so, but, but he'll, he'll, he'll get he'll Yeah, get but we're not back. expecting that, though. We, we, don't, yeah. we, we need defending. We got points. We got people that can score. You between. Although between. I also thought of you on Friday night because D'Lo came up with what three points on Friday night, see? and here we that's, went again. See, it was like, what, well, what are you that's doing? What I'm saying. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. He, he, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I tried to say. I'm like, before I left, I told you and Rachel. I'm like, he can't score 44 and 28, then give me two, and give me three. Like it's unacceptable. Yeah. And and so when you put yourself in that position, come playoff time, he's gonna be a guy that I wouldn't be shocked if the Lakers benched him during the playoffs, if he put out that type of output. I wouldn't be shocked. I know, but it's just horrible. I mean, I, mean, wow. I watched him score wow. 44 yeah. points against Milwaukee by himself. If he put out you this would, output you would that he put out... Who do you go? You, you are depending on Spencer Dinwiddie, who just played 21 I minutes? I would be shocked if the Lakers... Played 21 minutes and went well, over two? Over no, but two. I wouldn't be shocked, though, if, if, if he give you that same performance that he's giving you on Friday, and then after the 44-point game that the Lakers look up and you wind up, D'Angelo wind up sitting over there with us. I wouldn't be shocked. I would not be shocked. Uh, I don't know who they go to. I don't, I don't know, who know who they, go they would to. go to either, but you know, him. this is a do-or-die situation, and you yeah. know how LeBron is. Yeah. He, yeah. Ain't gonna, you know, he ain't gonna stand for that. Especially with rumors swirling around that Trey Young might be in a landing spot in Los Angeles next season. Mm. That would be a mistake. I'm not the GM. I, I, I think that'll be a mistake. Yeah. I'm not the GM. I'm just telling you the rumors that's yeah, swirling yeah, around. Yeah, I think that, that. I mean, you got to understand, LeBron needs guys that can knock down shots. I'm not the GM. That don't, the that don't, need, the ball, ball. That don't need the just, ball in their hand. But we're going to get to that. That's all right. We're going to talk about that. Hey, man, I'm just giving the news. I don't make the news. I'm just mm. giving it. Yeah, okay. we're going to get to so, that. So, Paul, you watched LeBron take over the fourth quarter mm -hmm. the way very few superstars ever take over a fourth quarter, where it was all him all the time. Yeah good or bad for the long run? Not for the short haul, but for the long run. Well, Because you, you've had issues with, with the, the sort of the chemistry of trying yeah. to play with yeah. LeBron. Does this hurt the chemistry over time? No, this is what you want, Skip. This is what you wanted from him versus Denver last year, where it just seemed like in the fourth quarter he ran out of gas. LeBron was able to preserve himself through three quarters. Yeah, he settled for a lot of threes, but he made them. Then he said, all right, I'm going to go to the bucket in the fourth quarter where he yeah. shot a high percentage. This is what you want from LeBron. This is how he should pace himself during the game. He should have himself completely energized for the fourth quarter, something left in the tank, because we saw last year in the playoffs, he just ran out of gas and couldn't hit the shots necessary in the fourth quarter where they're going to need him the most. And so I like this. I like the, the shot distribution amongst the other guys, Austin Reeves, 11, I liked him to get about 12 or 13 shots along with, with D'Angelo Russell, but it, what impressed me more is I like the, the assist ratio between them all, which tells me LeBron is having confidence in D'Lo when I see him get six assists. Reeves, he getting six assists. LeBron, he ends up with five, six assists. So that's telling me LeBron is coming off the ball, allowing them to make plays, which gives them confidence within the offense and them that's just not standing around taking spot of shots. And so that's what I like to see. But also on the, on the flip side of it, I like to get more production out of their bench so they don't All right. ride LeBron James so, to death. I keep playoffs. hearing this same phrase over and over again about what happened last year against Denver, ran out of gas. And I'm thinking, wait, this he spends he, $2 million. He, he spends $2 million a year on it. He's the best conditioned <laughs> athlete in the history of sports. <laughs> and he ran out of gas in the conference finals. He it's didn't look like he... in Denver, though. Okay. I got it. Two of those four <laughs> games were in Denver. I give you that. But he did not look out of gas against Memphis in the first round, and he definitely didn't look out of gas against Golden State in but the second round. But you got a punch. Against, against Denver, you, you got to push the pedal all the way to the floor. Against those other teams, you don't have to push it all the way to the floor. Okay. So if you in Denver and playing Denver, Skip, and you using, like Paul said, 
all of that gas in the first three quarters, you ain't got nothing left for the fourth. Just to keep it close. Just to keep, you ain't got nothing left for the okay, mentally, so, none of that. So now we're suggesting that in year 21, LeBron has had a revelation, oh, you pace yourself for three quarters, and then you turn it on in the fourth quarter. Well, this is what right? a guy who played in the NBA is yeah. telling us that okay. this is what he should be doing. Okay. So I remind everybody, in those four fourth quarters, all four close games going into the fourth quarter that stayed close much of the game. Last five minutes. Yeah. LeBron shot seven of 23. That was his total in the four fourth quarters. He was one of 10 from three. That same guy who made nine out of 10 last night, who made four out of four in the fourth quarter, was one of 10 combined in the four fourth quarters. And even the closeout game, it went to the final drop because it went to the last two Laker possessions to tie the game and LeBron got forced into a bad shot over on the left wing that hit the side of the backboard and then he tried to drive and Jamal cut him off at the pass and got a hand on the ball and LeBron never even got the ball up to the rim yeah I know. on Aaron Gordon he didn't, he and didn't Jamal. bully it in three people okay we've gone through this before all right, all right but I'm just trying to reiterate okay so last night is is the essence of LeBron James. That, that's what I want to see just uh, maybe one time against Denver. They can play with Denver. AD can match up with Joker. Yeah, yeah. And AD's still been playing big time basketball, playing big, much bigger than he looks to me. He, he plays like he's 7'3 to me. Okay, so you've got all that going. You, you can match up with Denver, but somebody has to close the way Jamal and Joker close every game. And it's time to see if LeBron can do that. Well, well, Skip, on the road to winning a championship, you gotta have some unsung heroes too. Okay. You know, you're asking LeBron to, to carry a heavy load. Along this road, you have to have guys like D'Angelo Russell hit big shots. Reeves, they have to hit big sure. shots. I mean, when you look at all the champions across the board, you look at Denver last year when you had guys like Caldwell Pope, he was he was big time. Big time for them. You know, uh, green for them. I mean, it took it takes pressure off your superstars. The superstars can only do so much. And to LeBron's credit, he did what he could at the time, but I didn't see that unsung hero for the Lakers last year. Even the Jordan era, how many times did he? Steve Kerr, Craig Hodges. Be, Everybody you know got saying? somebody that's not a star. That's John Paxson just stepped up who, for these guys. Who you guys have in your playoff? We had guys like James Posey. Eddie House, these guys, Eddie House big, house. Made some big, big, out, big shots and big games and big mo and back and forth games to where it could have swung either way. Yeah. And so you have to have that, and I didn't see that last year from them. Although hopefully, Austin Reeves took eight shots in those four fourth quarters mm -hmm. and made seven of them. Yeah. So, so hopefully LeBron can have a little more confidence yeah, and trust in them now, yeah. which I believe yeah, he will. I, I, and, I, and I believe he will too. You, we're not, last year, and I say we, as I'm speaking as if I'm in the organization, you're not letting Austin Reeves take no damn shots as no first-time, full-time starter for us when we no, got LeBron understand. James. This year, like Paul said, yeah, we, yeah, of course, because we've seen you not only take over games yeah. when I've been on the bench sitting and watching, I've watched you uh, uh, make sure that the distribution of the rock is going to certain people, but also when we've asked you to knock down big shots, you've been able to do it. So that confidence and that belief in Austin Reeves is there this year when it wasn't last year. Okay, so I'm gonna first guess this. I want it on the record right here, right now. No excuse for LeBron going into the playoffs of I played too many regular season minutes. I don't want him to crap out against Denver or somebody at the top and then say- <laughs> I don't say, think he's ever, okay. I don't think he's ever said that though. Okay, but, but I don't want his apologists, his defenders, his blind witnesses to say, well, he played too many minutes in the regular season. What do you want from him? Because he had to play. No, he didn't have to play too many minutes but you in the regular could, but season. You, but, but you could see clear, you're not blind, Skip, when somebody <sighs> is tired and their legs are not underneath them. You've seen it. Okay, You've but, seen it. But it's LeBron bleeping James. It I, I just matter. don't want to hear it. If it's just it, like if, ridiculous. If, if the, the stress, the, the tiredness, the altitude, all that stuff starts to uh, weigh you down. You can't get up off the ground late in fourth quarters. I know it sounds it sounds ridiculous, but in situations where you've taken on so much and you've done so much, at some time no. that bill comes, you have to pay it. All right, and that's what happened to him last year. Are you the goat or not? I keep hearing he's the goat. <laughs> I mean, goats don't get tired. I, I that's what that's what I thought. We're not talking about <laughs> okay. him being the goat. That well, was that's what everybody else is. <laughs>
All right, I got one final quick nitpick, and I will I will give you it's a nitpick given what he did last night. Praises the okay. man at the start. Okay, so kicks. to Paul's point, LeBron James is making 42% of his threes for the season. That is a career high. It is sensational. Right. And he said because his foot has been more healthy, he gets more time, more reps before the game taking shots. And he says, all I do is work, 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 work. Okay, way to go. It hasn't manifested itself at the free throw line because he's still stuck at 75%. And I don't get it. He's better than that. He's just better. Okay. I, I, I don't know. Okay, 75% ranks 158th in today's NBA. 158th. Well, the 42% is high because that, that's that's 24th in the league. That's really I good saw for Steph him. Steph Curry just missed one the other night, and so did Clay. Missed a free throw? Yeah. Oh, so they missed <laughs> one in like but, but 29 games? But people miss free throws. Well, he misses a bunch of I free mean, throws. I mean, that doesn't mm -hmm. take anything away from Shaq. Yeah. Shaq couldn't hit a free throw to save his life. Okay, but LeBron is not 7 Two or Doesn't whatever matter it how tall you are. Well, it does too, because the bigger you are, the bigger your hands are. It's just hard I've to watched, control. I've the watched a ton of footers knock them down with no problem. Kareem used to hit free throws like it was just like he just walk up there and boom. Hey. Wimby walks up there and boom. No, good talk about Joel Embiid. Uh, oh, boom. Joker, yeah. boom, yeah. boom. No, Joel Embiid's the king of that. He well, he's I no, mean, he is. Bigs can you know you, yeah. you, you can okay, hit some so bigs. Okay, so if Joel Embiid can shoot ninety percent, can't LeBron shoot eighty four percent like Jordan did? Did a 74% for his career? <laughs> I don't know. But Paul's going to apologize uh, for him. That's okay. Uh, it's okay. No, no. Right. The season's the man, not over yet. The, the, not the over. man scored 40 points last night. Yeah. Skip somehow found a way to discredit his accomplishments well, from just, last night. No, I'm, I'm crediting the three-point, but the free throw, they're called free throws. They're F-R-E-E -E free, right? You what get was, to your, go what was your field goal percentage? I mean, your uh, free throw percentage, Paul? 80? 80, 81, something. You should have been higher. That's way better than Maybe. 74. You should have been at 93. I got, I got, I got, my arms hurt because I got fouled so much. So <laughs> I would have shot 85. <laughs> All right. Gordon, the skip, you should have been We got to talk about what's going to happen tonight because this game is going to be, I'm pretty sure, the most watched women's game ever Man, is okay. racism directed at LSU women's basketball team. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.